Hello. This is fascinating. I've heard of people damaging their cartilage, walking with ankle weights, poor posture resulting from years of wearing a 10 pound or more school bag, but losing the biggest heavyweight fight of our era from a costume that was too heavy. You know, that's definitely something you never hear about. The first thing we all viscerally feel is, why is this man making excuses? But, you know, I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt, you know? I want to be able to always entertain their side of the story even if I do not fully accept it. That said, let's hear Deontay Wilder out. He did not hurt me at all, but the simple fact is that my uniform was too heavy for me. Wilder said, speaking to Yahoo Sports, I didn't have no legs from the beginning of the fight. Now, to me, Tyson Fury did look like a far superior boxer who like, in their first bout, had a significant skill advantage. From here, let's play with the possibility that maybe a 40 pound costume messed up Deontay Wilder's entire game. Deontay Wilder is an explosive power puncher. What does this mean? Not only is he effective at leveraging his anatomy, but also the sheer acceleration of his technique is just absurd. This is what Deontay Wilder's body is built for, explosiveness. If you look at a power lifter, someone who's actually built to withstand carrying loads, they would feel the tax on their bodies differently. Here, clearly the individual who trains explosive calisthenic workouts cannot hold a candle to an actual power lifter when it comes to lifting weights, even if he delusionally thinks he can. But it's intriguing because physically, he looks just as good if not better. That's the distinction. As strong as Deontay Wilder looks, it's possible to say that he could have taxed his body before the fight, carrying a weight that his body was not efficiently built to carry. This is a key distinction between a striker and someone with grappler strength as well. An example of this would be Habib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Quite literally, Habib Nurmagomedov's game plan round one was to simply hold Conor McGregor, who we've seen predominantly as an elite MMA striker, although it's fair to say Conor McGregor's ground game is highly underrated as well. We're in Dublin. Nate drops down for the double, can he get it? This would be huge. Cannot get it. Nonetheless though, in doing so, even John Kavanaugh had said it, he was drenched. Habib Nurmagomedov forcing Conor McGregor to expend energy in a world he's built more proficiently for longer, it tilted the advantage to his favor by virtue of how their bodies were predominantly built. That said, sure a lanky explosive athlete who looks like a real physical specimen could have still been compromised wearing and moving around in a weight his body was not built for. Mistakes happen, but here's another truth, and I'd really like you to consider this. Deontay Wilder took a bomb, a huge equilibrium shot from a huge man, and it was not intentional. It was contributed to by virtue of the head movement, so it's hard for a ref to consider. That said, what does this mean? If you punch someone in the ear, or above the ear, or behind it, it's not too uncommon to see them lose control over their bodies, which has even been famously coined as the chicken dance. And for the fighter, it's very strange because they are fully conscious, they know what's happening, they can still lucidly see the fight in play, but their bodies just aren't listening to them. Doesn't that sound very familiar? That's exactly what Deontay Wilder is saying. If you listen to him, he didn't hurt me at all. I didn't have no legs from the beginning of the fight. He took a massive bomb against his equilibrium and that's when we saw his legs really start to get wobbly. That said, maybe this is all very new for Deontay because I actually doubt Deontay Wilder has taken many equilibrium shots considering how tall the man is. He's a giant. But what he's describing, it sounds very similar to taking a powerful shot to the ear or around it, which we all saw. We can see it right here. That said, we can also read his testimony as, I was conscious. I just didn't have full control over my body. That's what people have commonly said when they've taken equilibrium shots. So it's hard to say, but absolutely, Deontay is a warrior. So. I truly believe he does not need to make excuses, if anything, it will keep him from reflecting on his contest and seeing where he can improve. Always, I'd want to see Deontay Wilder at his best versus Tyson Fury as I have tremendous respect 
for both of these fighters. I like both of them as people. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, peace.